Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a, an angel card reading for the collective, January 20th, 2020. So your first card today is Saint Germain, karma releasing. And this is the current energy at the moment. This is your strength. And what this card feels like is that there's been a lot of letting go in the first 20 days of the year. A lot of shifting, a lot of shedding, a lot of releasing of old patterns. And this is always necessary in order to create space for the new. So letting go to create space. And it feels like, you know, this has been many of your intentions first 20 days into the new year, a lot of, uh, you know, creating room for what it is that you really want in your life. So in order to do that, we have to let go of the things that are no longer serving us. And that could be relationships, maybe work that we're doing, activities that we're involved in, but um, a lot of letting go. And so the second card is the Miriam. And this is the energy of your heart or the energy that is rising up in your heart at the moment that, you know, is really important to address. And what I'm feeling with this card is that because we've taken the time to shift and let go, we're creating room in our lives for the things that we want to develop or create. Um, so there's a lot of room for creative vision here, a lot of opportunity to follow your heart and really step into your joy and maybe try that new thing that you've been afraid to try, um, start that new job or create that new relationship, building. It's a time of building and creativity. And, and um, I'm really feeling that, you know, with that shift and that letting go, we have this great opportunity in front of, in front of us to create what we desire. Third card and final card of the reading is a focus card or the challenge card, Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. And so what I'm feeling with this card is that sometimes we can be held back from what we want to create when we don't speak our truth. So what's coming up is the importance of being able to communicate what it is that we want and not being ashamed of what we want, not feeling doubtful about what we want, but to really speak up, stand up and voice what we need. And also not being afraid to be fully who we are, stepping into our true authenticity. And so it's not always easy to speak our truth, right? So this is a reminder that we can call on for help when we need help um, articulating or speaking what it is that we want to create. So I like to call on Archangel Gabriel or Gabrielle. Some people see her as feminine. And I like to say, thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for helping me to speak my truth. And she's this angel, this archangel, that one of the really popular archangels that can help us speak the truth in a very courageous and assertive way, but still with grace. So I think that the way this all ties in is that the more we're able to speak our truth, the more we're able to create what it is we want to create that will lead us to joy. And the more that we speak our truth, more the, the more that we're able to fulfill our purpose in life. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. If you are looking for some more one-on-one -on -one guidance, please feel free to reach out to me. And um, thanks so much for tuning in once again. I love connecting with you all and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Lots of love. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.